proper steering one, maybe. Yeah, and but, that's, I, I ran into that a lot. Like, my, my steering would get heavy after, like, hot yeah. wrapping for a while. So. I'll owe you a lead later. Yeah. Sorry, I'm mean, my no, tape is like 260 right now. No, you're good. Thank you. Yeah, no Um, if you guys have been watching my videos, you know the script. It's early. I overslept. I'm super late. I still gotta load the car and like everything else and like drive. We're missing the driver's meeting. We're missing all that. It's all right, but I need to quit talking. I gotta go. I hate this stuff. I need to delete this thing. I flip around, pull the trailer the opposite way up to the gas pump so I can get uh, fuel in the Z. So it's annoying that the Z has the opposite gas tank than the uh, my truck does. So every time I get diesel, then I gotta pull a U-turn and try to cut around and do some weird stuff so I can get the trailer in between these people because everybody always parks in the center. But it's all right. We're almost out of here. We're super late. I mean, we're literally leaving the same time I want to get at the track. The track's an hour and 20 some minutes away. It's that was the last stop. I swear it takes so long to get out of town like the stops just add up like you leave the house you got to get fuel in both vehicles and you got to get deaf and you got to get breakfast and you got to go get cash because i never carry cash so like I gotta... all right we finally made it to the track uh, not a whole lot of people here which is cool i like the laid back events but i thought riverside was gonna be packed it still may be i guess i was early i thought it was late because driver's meeting is not till 10 45 so perfect i'm gonna get the car unloaded let it kind of get warmed up, kill a few minutes here, and then go to the driver's meeting. So really stoked about the new radiator. Um, I hope hope we uh, eliminated heating overheating issues because it's um, so like I took out the AC condenser and stuff, which I think was blocking a lot of air. Plus the radiator went to is like three times as thick. I don't know if that means anything. It could just be still a single core radiator. You don't know what's inside, but it's about three times as thick. The fans seem like they're way louder, so they could be flowing more air. I don't know. Again, it could just be, you know, the stock fans probably did fine, but we'll see. With the AC condenser out, it's like almost direct airflow now with no front bumper. Um, it's going past, it's going on top of the cooler. So like, at first I thought maybe the coolers were blocking air getting through, but now I think it was the AC condenser because it was old, extremely dirty, and then plus you had the coolers in front of that. So I had to go through the coolers, through the AC condenser, then the radiator, and then you had the stock fans that probably were, weren't keeping up. So um, we're getting a lot of direct airflow now. So that should help out tremendously. All right, driver's meeting's over. Um, I watched a couple laps. I just, I like to see, like they tell you the layout in the driver's meeting, but I like to just see everybody kind of go see what they do just so I got a better idea so I know what to look out for. Um, it looks like I might have to move up to third gear. It's a really high speed layout because you go like straight across the uh, speedway then into the bank. So um, we'll test it out and play with that. I'm probably not going to record the first, I don't know, probably the first session because I've never been here. It's a weird layout and I think I, think I got a lot of grip in the car. All right, so I did a couple laps. This track's really challenging. Um, it's really testing, like, you just gotta carry a lot of speed. And I, I really do think once I switch to the Kendas, cause I only have so many laps left on these Ironmans. And once I switch to the Kendas, I ain't gonna have too much grip for this track. Um, but I, too much grip, not enough power. We'll figure it out. I think I just gotta go faster. I'm like coming in as hot as I think I can possibly come in right now. Um, but it's just driving me down to the corner. So I got to figure that out, but I'm gonna go ahead and just start recording some driving stuff. Really surprised that there's not very many people here. Um, when I started first coming to drift events, the start of the summer and spring, it was so packed. Like you was waiting on grid forever. You were never driving. The last, I don't know, maybe three events I've been to, there's been like nobody. I don't know if the heat scares people or what, but it's pretty hot. You kind of got to be dedicated. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm baking in this car.
you just had to just throw it in there, man. God, that's, I don't know if the GoPro does that justice, but I am literally like going as fast as this car will possibly go sideways. Like that is full tilt. Like th there's nothing else left on the table. That is, that is very crazy. check tires and hook up a foot cam because there's a lot of footwork involved um, these tires are about dead so um, that's probably why that last lap was so good because them boys are about gone um, yeah when we put these tendas on here we're gonna be I don't know we're gonna figure it out though I'm gonna hook up a foot cam and uh, we'll go out there and pull some more laps get a couple more laps out of it anyway <laughs> oh man we'll go ahead and change tires all right so we got the tires changed we're just gonna actually we're gonna heat cycle these so i'm just gonna do a couple laps i'm gonna come back in the pits and put the other tires on and then um, i'll swap back to these after i do a couple laps on the other set uh, i don't know how much more filming i'm gonna do because it's probably gonna get repetitive and plus i need to kind of learn these tires because they're way more grip than what i was just on way too much grip in the car i just about put it in the wall um man i might see if somebody got the air compressor air these things up real good or something but i think i just got i just got too much grip for this setup Are they
way better right there that's way better for what i got i think that'd be way better to follow people too so uh yeah i'm good on that that'll be fun i'm still having trouble coming out there at the end you kind of see the car straightening out i don't think i'm carrying enough speed through there but it's pretty intimidating uh, few laps left on these tires and then I'm down to like my last set which they should last me for a while so I'm not sure how they're doing this but technically I'm in the lead lane thank you there's a roller <laughs> got maybe one more and I need to uh, check tires
spun out too. Good thing I seen it coming because we was in a pretty high speed part of the track. I think he's gonna lead.
Dude, that's what I'm talking about. We're getting some runs in, all right? This is this is when driving's getting fun. I'm out here driving with people. Like, that stuff by myself, like, whatever. But, dude, like, he was all up on my door. I heard nothing but turbo noises. I was panicking. Oh, my gosh. That's... Oh. I still got another set of tires. We still got a few hours left, so we're we're probably gonna change tires. These tires are done, and we're going for it. I don't know. My car is always overheated until I put this new radiator in. I got a Mishimoto radiator now, yeah. so I think they block air. If you want to know the truth, really? Yeah. I never ran any coolers on mine. Um, I did have an aftermarket radiator, and it helped a lot. Um, I had a sedan, yeah, a G sedan, so it was a little different. But I, uh, I always wanted to upgrade to the coolers, but I just didn't know if they actually like made a difference. Or I think not. they just look cool. That's it. I don't <laughs> think they do anything. The power steering one, maybe. Yeah, and but, that's, I, I ran into that a lot. Like my my steering would get heavy after like yeah. all wrapping for a while. So. I'll owe you a lead later. Yeah. Sorry, I mean, my no, tape is like two sixty right now. No, you're good. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. I'm gonna lead first.
I think we're gonna try to go three deep. Three? So, yeah, whenever Craig gets ready, I think we're gonna go three deep. hit him but I couldn't tell so I like pull that heat brake out of panic but so got a little overzealous we're going four deep I was leading which probably shouldn't have been but anyway um, I lost it somehow I don't know coming out of that bank and uh, the ABS lock wouldn't lock well I have ABS so the front tires were not so obviously the guy behind me hit me he hit me pretty good I think his car might be in more shape than mine though. Sucks. Sucks for him. Sucks for me. It just sucks. But, you know, I was just getting ready to put it on the trailer too and I was just going to be done for the day. But, um, that's a piece of headlight. I was just going to be done for the day. But, um, I decided, you know what? Might as well go out with a bang. And we went out with a bang. So, headlight gone definitely gone no saving it yeah it bent my bash bar i think the bash bar saved the car to be honest with you um but i'll have to look i don't know what that i haven't looked at that stuff but i mean it bent my bash bar in all the way up underneath the headlight um you can see this one's not i don't know if you can see but that one's not bent in but anyway <sighs> been riverside drift I'm out of here.